Alright, it's time for the playoffs. And, uh, you know, if you can't get fired up uh, for this, I don't care if your team's in it or not. Uh, I mean, if you can't get fired up for the NFL playoffs, then, you know, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, this, this is the best time of the year. Uh, you know, we're getting down to, you know, the, the, the best teams in the league. You know, one of these teams is going to win the Super Bowl. Um, you, you, you know, th- th- this is th- th- this is the most exciting uh, playoffs of, of all the major sports. Uh, you know, with, with all due respect. Uh, I mean, I, I just you know, because I mean, think think of, think think about this. Think about how much uh, January would be disgusting without the NFL playoffs. The weather is crappy. It's the start of the new year. You're basically starting over. I mean, you got you got a whole lot of nonsense going on. There's no real major holiday. I know you get Martin Luther King Day, which is fine, but you know you don't like. There's, no, there's nothing going on in January for the most part. Uh, so thank God for the NFL playoffs. All I'm gonna say. Um, but anyway, let's get to it. You get two games on Saturday. Um, you get Houston uh, hosting Indianapolis. Um, you know this this is obviously a tough game. You got divisional opponents. Uh, and if you know, if you're a Houston fan, you, know, you got to be looking at this going, you know, man, you know, we, you know, we, 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 we're better than we were last year. You know, Watson's a, got another year under his belt. You know, Miller's running the ball well. Hopkins is all over the field. You, you, you know, the defense is playing well. You know, it seems like everything is clicking for Houston. But you look at their playoff positioning, and it's really no better than it's ever been. You know, they blew the shot at the bye. Uh, when he lost a game or two there, you know, near the end, and 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 here we go again. You're playing on on wild card Saturday, and if you win, you, you got to go to New England, and you, and you never beat New England in a big spot. Now listen, maybe this is the year. You know, maybe this is the year. And, and, and again, uh, this year more than any other, you know, a- a- anybody can beat anybody. Uh, I'm not saying everybody's got an equal shot, but you you got all 12 teams. Uh, going into the playoffs, playing strong. I mean, 11 of the 12 teams won in Week 17. I mean, some of the games meant something, some of them didn't. But 11 of the 12 teams team won. New Orleans the only team that lost. You know, and they've had everything wrapped up already. So, I mean, you know, usually you got, you know, one, two, three teams that backed into the playoffs or are not playing well. You don't have that this year. You've got 12 teams, and... Any one of them got to the Super Bowl, it's not going to surprise you. So, uh, but again, though, if you're if you're looking at Houston here, you know, again, you feel like the team has gotten better, has taken the next step, but their playoff positioning is the same. And on top of it, you get a divisional opponent that that's that's hot. You know, you're not getting Cincinnati, you're not getting uh, the Raiders with their third string quarterback. You know, you, you're getting a hot Colts team uh, with Andrew Luck, uh, a, a good defense that's playing well. Um, this is a tough spot for the Col- uh, for the Texans. Um, I mean, meanwhile, the Colts, you know, they won whatever it is, seven, eight, eight, and nine. Let's see, they started one and five, they're ten and six. I mean, geez, they won, they won nine out of the last ten games. I mean, you know, and their defense is playing well. You know they've got a, a good quarterback that can that can put up points, and, and 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 they've got a good running game. You know Marlon Mack has played well. Um, you, you know this is this is a tough matchup for Houston. Um, I'm going to take Indianapolis to win this game, um, and and you know think about where they've come from, coming from one and five, and now here they are running riding a hot streak. You know, going in to play Houston, you know, again, divisional opponent, they, they, they play two, three-point games this year. So, you know, you probably get in a close game. But here's the thing with the Colts, you know, they can win this game. They win this game, they go to Kansas City. And, <laughs> I mean, if you're the Chiefs, I mean, coming off of, uh, you know, going, you know, six-game home playoff losing streak, the Colts are probably the last franchise you want to see coming in divisional round. You know, they blew it to the Colts in 95. 
Uh, Lynn Elliott missed three chip shots. You know, they blew it to the Colts in 03 when nobody punted and the Colts just scored more points. Um, you, you know, and, and the Colts have an offense that can hang with Kansas City. Um, so, you know, Houston, uh, I'm sorry, Indianapolis, I mean, they have an opportunity here. Get a win this weekend, go to Kansas City and give the Chiefs a ball game, and before you know it, th- that team could wake up in the AFC Championship game. You see, how the hell this happened? Again, we're getting ahead of ourselves, but I just think that things broke right for the Colts as far as playoff scheduling uh, goes. Um, again, the Chiefs are going to be a tough out at home, but and, and we'll talk about them next week. But that the fact that they're that that, that home playoff losing thing that that's a thing. And I don't care how many touchdowns Mahomes has thrown, somebody's got to get over that hump. And that's a difficult hump to get over. Now, they, they might, that this Chief team might be the team to do it, but. But I'm, I'm going to take the Colts to win this game because um, I just think they're playing better. Uh, it's going to be a good game. It could be a shootout. Um, but I just think, you know, Houston, as good as a year they've had, as much improvement they've made overall as a team, it, it, you know, and even the back of the heads are looking like, man, even if we win this game, we've we got to go to New England. Like, no way around it. I don't care what New England's done this year. You haven't won in New England. You got to get over that, and, and and I don't know if they're ready to do that, uh, but I think the Colts take this game. So, uh, so there you go on that one. All right, Saturday night, you know, you get the big game, uh, you know, Seahawks at Dallas, and you know, I've, I've been looking at this game for the last couple weeks now. You know, again, Seattle's, you know, again, the NFC is, is you know, everyone can beat everyone in the NFC. Again, not saying everyone's got an equal chance. But don't be surprised if any of these six teams uh, end up in the Super Bowl. Um, now, again, Seattle's a team, you know, much rather would have had Minnesota. Um, but what are you going to do? It didn't work that way. we got to deal with the Seahawks. We could probably have to deal with them at some point. Uh, but, you know, now we gotta, we, we got to take care of business on Saturday. Um, the thing that you worry about with Seattle, you know, Russell Wilson. Um, th- here's the thing. The Seahawks are never out of the game. They're never out of the game as long as Russell Wilson's there. They're never out of the game. They could they could play a terrible first half. They could be down 20 points early in the game. They're never out of it with Russell Wilson. So you know you're in for a dogfight. Um, so that's that's number one. Number two, Seattle can run the ball. They got, they got Carson, they got Mike Davis. Uh, I don't know if Penny's back or not, but they, they, they can run the ball. Um... They've got a couple of receivers that can that can make plays, Lockett and Baldwin, um, and, and they've got a decent defense. Now it's not Legion of Boom um, by any stretch, but you know they're a defense that can make plays. Um, you know that the defense might be the weak spot, so you know don't be surprised if you get possibly a shootout here in this game. Um, but but they can play defense uh, when they want to, Seattle. Uh, so that's what worries you about that. Now on the flip side, you know. And, and Seattle beat Dallas back in week three. That was before they had Amari Cooper. Uh, that was, you know, when the offense was really struggling, really trying to, you know, because we had a lot of new guys on offense, uh, you know, on the receiver end, and, you know, things just weren't working out. And, and it just was, it was a sloppy game. Um, but, you know, that was a long time ago. And, 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 you know, when you're in the playoffs, you know, if you've played in the regular season, you, 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 you want to be the team that lost in the regular season. Um, because you can find, uh, you can go back and look and, and make adjustments, and, and and that you know that revenge factor is, is always there. Because uh, hey, this team beat us, we want to show them kind of thing. Um, so you, you typically you, you want to be the team that lost in the regular season. Now again, it was week three, different ball game. Um, you know before they had Cooper, whatever. Um, so you like Dallas from that standpoint, and you really like the way Dallas finished. The regular season. Now, I know the game didn't mean anything, and, and and I'll be honest, I watched the thing for three and a half quarters going, why is everybody still in the game? What are we doing here? And then, you know, Van Der Esch got thinged up. You almost, you know, you wanted to throw something through the television, but I didn't do that. It's expensive television. I'm not going to break it anyway. Um, but fortunately, everybody came out of there unscathed. Unscathed. Um... But you like the way he finished it, you know, and and it's something to be said for that, you, you, you know, uh, you know, everyone made a big deal in 07 when, 
you know, the, the Giants, you know, who barely got in the playoffs that year, you know. But, you know, they, they got fired up for that last game against New England. And even though they didn't win, you know, a lot of guys pointed to that. And, you know, that's what galvanized them for that playoff run that year. Um, so, you know, you, you, you would have preferred on one, at one level say, hey, just rest everybody, treat it as a bye week, uh, and then you come out fresh. But the fact that you won that game, and listen, it was the Giants. You know, they had nothing to play for. But give the Giants credit. They, they, they came out and gave everybody a ball game. Um, but you like the way that they fought back in the game. They were able to put up points, um, you know, and, and, and then Beasley makes a ridiculous catch at the end. So, you know, that, that's about as much momentum as the Cowboys have probably ever had going into the playoffs, to be quite honest with you. Because uh, even in the 90s, like, you know, they'd have the bye wrapped up. They'd take the last week or two off. You know, I, I, I can't remember the last time the Cowboys looked this, uh, had this much momentum going into the playoffs. So... Uh, so you like that. The game is in Dallas. Um, you know, we're 7-1 and one at home this year. Um, so, you know, you've got everything on the table that you need to beat a team like Seattle. Um, so they, they, they just got to go out and do it. And of course, I'm gonna, of course, I'm going to pick the Cowboys to win the game. Um, you, know, um, you know, Zeke is fresh. You know, Cooper's got to kind of get back on track a little. But, you know, again, we don't, we don't need Cooper to go for 200 yards and, and three touchdowns. Every year. We don't need him to do that. You know, just just make a couple of plays here and there. You know, spread the, stretch the field for, for some of these other guys. Uh, you, you really like how Beasley's gotten himself back in the offense. Um, you know, and, and, and Zeke's going to run well. So, uh, and if our defense can play defense, um, you know, we, we're going to have a good chance to win the game. But, again, it's going to be a 60-minute game because, again, the Seahawks are never out of it with Russell Wilson. They're never out of it. Uh, so it's going to be one of those nail-biters. But, um, you know, we're looking forward to it. I like the nice Saturday night game. Uh, I, I never like the Sunday late afternoon. I don't, I don't like when they put Dallas in that spot because i I got to wait the whole weekend to watch a freaking playoff game. So, like, just let's do it Saturday night. And then whatever happens, at least i got Sunday to kind of recover uh, instead of just getting up and going to work. So um, so Cowboys will take care of the business Saturday night. All right, it's Sunday early game. Um, another rematch here. You're getting the, uh, the charges at Baltimore. Um, you know, the, the charges, you know, they've kind of stumbled a little bit. You know, they lost to Baltimore a couple of weeks ago. You know, they look great in Denver. You know, Rivers is struggling. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but... You, again, you go back to, all right, we lost to this team. We just lost to this team two weeks ago. And if you're the Ravens, you're like, oh, man, we gotta, we got to go out and beat the Chargers again. We just beat this team. Um, and, and, and I know that that's not a, you know, the players aren't thinking about that, but it's, it's in the back of their minds. Uh, even though Baltimore's playing better right now, you know, even though they, they almost blew the game to Cleveland, you, you know, here's the thing. What's made Baltimore successful second half with Lamar Jackson is that teams are not prepared uh, for that style. They're not prepared for, you know, what Baltimore brings offensively. But see, the Chargers have seen it. And even though they lost the game, the, the Chargers can game plan for it better now because now they've seen it. Um, and and, and, and that, that's one thing you like about that. Um, and the other thing is that, you know, the, the Baltimore offense is not an offense that can play catch-up. So... The, the char if I'm the Chargers, I'm I'm going I'm doing whatever I can to get myself up 14 points early in that game. If that means I got to take the ball uh, on a kickoff, and then you know maybe you, then you get a touchdown, you get a turnover, you get another quick tee. That that's that that's how the Chargers are going to win this game. Now, I'm going to take the Chargers to win the game because uh, I think they're going to make a couple plays early. And it's going to put Baltimore in a hole. And, and, and as good as they've been rushing that, uh, rushing the ball uh, on offense, the Ravens, they are not an offense that can come back if you put them in a hole. And, and I think the, the Chargers are going to um, they're going to make a play. They're going to make adjustments from what they did the last game. Uh, and, and, I, and I think they, and they, they, they're going to win the game. Because they're the better team, the Chargers. Um, but, but I just, I, I like the way this matchup works out for them because, you know, they're on the road, going to the East Coast. No one, a lot of people not giving them a chance, but they, they are the better team. 
and and don't be surprised if they're up 14 nothing early in this game and now Baltimore's going oh sh how are we gonna come how are we gonna come back in this game you know we can't just run the ball 50 times and and, and, and you know mount a comeback um, and listen maybe they bring in Flacco if they if they're down because you know Flacco's healthy you know and, you know he's he's you know he's got the pedigree to do it it's gonna be an interesting game I, I think everyone's just saying oh well, Baltimore could probably win this game but. I think the Chargers are going to win this game, but it's, uh, I might be wrong. What, what, what do I know? All right, so now you get the lead Sunday afternoon game. And listen, congratulations, Philly. You got yourself back in the playoffs. You know, the Vikings, just you know, embarrassing team. I mean, it just, they, they, they might as well not even show up. I mean, the Bears have nothing to play for, especially after halftime when they saw that the Rams were up big. And they, they knew that they, you know, so, but they, but you know, the Bears were in a weird spot too because they were like, well, if we lose, we got to play the Vikings again. Now, but then if we win, then we got to play the defending champs. But, but, but I don't know if Chicago even cares about that because their defense is ridiculous. Um, and, and that's going to be the difference in this game. I know everyone's uh, getting excited because cause Foles is back and you know, we're going to get the magic again, blah, blah, blah. Uh, now he's dinged up. He's going to play whatever. Um... I think this is the wrong team that Philly needed to start off with if, if they thought they were going to go on another run. You know, if, if they were going to uh, Dallas or the Rams or, um, I mean, they wouldn't be going to Seattle, but, um, you, you know, if they were going against, I mean, not that I'd be worried about the Cowboys, I mean, but, you know, they, they would at least, I think they would have a lot more confidence playing Dallas or playing the Rams. Uh, or even the Saints again, because like you know they they want that revenge from that blowout loss. But I think Chicago's just the Chicago's the right team to put this dream to bed early uh, for the Eagles uh, because their defense is ridiculous, um, and, and and you know they, they're going to be at home. Um, but this is going to be a low scoring game. So even though I think Chicago's going to shut down Philly on offense, uh, it doesn't doesn't guarantee a win necessarily. Because uh, I, cause I think, you know, again, you, you worry about Trubisky in the first playoff game. You worry about, you know, some of these other guys. And these guys have never been in the playoffs on offense. That's the one thing you worry about. Uh, you worry about them, you know, making a bad turnover deep in their own end, giving Philly a cheap score. Um, you know, those are the things you worry about. Um, but I think they'll do enough uh, on offense, um, put, a couple, put a couple points on the board, and I think Chicago can shut down because I mean, because Philly's got no running game. Um, you know, Jeffrey and Aguilar are good receivers, but you know they're they're boom and bust those guys. I mean, you know, one week they're going off, another week they're not. You know, I mean, Ertz is always there; he's a constant. But um, if, if the Bears can get in, in Nick Foles' face uh, and, and possibly knock him out of the game, uh, I, I just I, I just see the Bears dominating this thing on defense. Um, you know, enough to the point where they'll be able to overcome whatever shortcomings the offense has. And listen, maybe the offense clicks for Chicago next week for whatever reason. You know, again, Philly's thin in, in the secondary, or that's what I keep hearing on television. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, now, now listen, I, I would love if Philly would win. Because, you know, if the Cowboys win, we're probably going to New Orleans because Chicago wins and go to the Rams. But I would love for Philly to win this game. And then we get to go and say, I'd rather play the Rams. I'd rather play the Rams. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm not getting what I want schedule-wise anyway, so I don't know why I even bother with it. But, um, you know, Dallas is going to have a tough road. They're going to have to beat Seattle. Then they're going to have to probably play New Orleans and beat New Orleans if they want to go to the NFC Championship game. Um, but as far as Chicago, Philly, I'm taking the Bears uh, to win the game. I just, I just think the defense is going to be too much. You know, this, 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 the offenses are kind of equal, um, but but Chicago's defense is so much better, and, and they're going to be they're going to be at home. You know, they're playing well, they're fired up. Um, they're especially going to be especially be fired because they want to knock out the champs, um, and and I think they'll do that. Um, so so there you go, um, and then uh, we'll we'll see you uh, Saturday night for the uh, for the Cowboy game, and then. Uh, and then, and then we'll go from there. All right, NFL playoffs, yeah.